Lady Jack's Cool the Blues. Well, this is going to be our first installment of our, what, 20, 30 minute show, Shane? Yeah. And you know what? For the inaugural show, none better than Mr. Dave Fields up from New York City. Oh, my God. My this is, friend. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Yeah, we've, uh, uh, many, many times Dave's been coming up here in White Wife Judy. Come on in. <laughs> Hi. My son Jasper is up in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So anyway, Dave and I, we've been collaborating a little bit and, you know, some of the favorite foods and uh, so, so we have is uh, some beautiful halibut. So we have some clams and mussels and shrimp. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a pan seared uh, halibut and I'm going to steam off the, uh, the clams in uh, like an orange juice. So it's going to be an orange tarragon. Bear Blanc, orange tarragon butter sauce. And then Dave says one of his favorite is kale. This kale comes out of Ayers, uh, Ayers Farm over in Franklin. He's a, um, a really cool guy. He's a, a stock, he's in the stock market, uh, stock, field, stock market field in New York. And uh, took, took back over his family farm, 300 year old farm in wow. Franklin. So uh, he's been bringing me this beautiful produce. So what we're gonna do is, add the clams, and um, a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice, okay, and uh, a little bit of Chablis. This show's called Cooking with the Blues. Yeah. We've already got the clams going here. I love it. Starting it off right. But Dave was telling me about what, the halibut, the whole story with halibut. You were over in, in Norway? Yeah, I mean, I get to, to travel the world and play the blues for people, and uh, I really hadn't had halibut because, you know, I grew up in New York City, and halibut is not a fish that normally gets to the East Coast. And when I was in Norway, I had to have I had halibut. When I was at a, at a, um, a concert, I was playing at a, at a tour, and Excuse I me. fell in love with this fish, my gosh. Halibut's one of the king, kings that kings of the fish. Yep, it's got the highest amount of protein, I think, right, or something yeah. like that. Hey, what can Steve, I do? Steve, give me the small cover. And, uh, yeah, man, it's a beautiful fish, cold, cold water fish. Can't get any better. Yep. So here we got a little olive oil. And, uh, a little bit of fresh butter. Watch the master at work here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to be putting you to work here right now. I'm ready, baby. You ready? Hit All me. Right. Hit me. So we take the halibut. Yep. And uh, we just have a little bit of my all-purpose, we call it black and seasoning, whatever you want to call it. We'll do, okay? And we'll hit the, the shrimp with it. So if you want to, you want to, you want to you get your hands dirty? Sure. Yeah, I know you washed them. Yeah, I did. All right, so we'll uh, just... I'm going to do this to all the pieces of the... Yeah, uh, no, just do this one, this, this piece here. Yeah. Go ahead. Put it in there? I'll do the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a blues man. But I love to eat. There and I go. love to eat How's that. Oh, look, yeah. Do that same one? Yeah. This one? Okay. Got it. Look at that! Yeah. Same thing for the other one? No, we will leave that. We'll okay. just do two. Okay? Oh. Always, uh, always when you drop it away from you, so if it splashes, splashes away from you, you want to flour up the uh, shrimp. Yep. My God, I'm watching the master at work here. Well, I'll watch the master la uh, later when you're on stage, <laughs> that's for sure. Dave's been here, I don't know, uh, came up for our uh, first inaugural Blues Festival in the London headlined here, the uh, New London, first annual New London Blues Festival. Hopefully it's one day we're gonna get together to do a blues cruise. We're gonna do that, we're gonna make that happen. Yeah, so we'll take the shrimp. Here to open. You don't need to cook them that long, I guess, huh? Uh, take a little bit to uh, open up. But see when, when we're open, the flavor, the flavor, the clams, the mussels, 
Then go into the sauce, and we'll make our, our sauce out of the uh, the juice that's left. But you know, it wouldn't be blues show unless you had some shrimp in there, right? Oh, you know, you it. always have some shrimp for the blues. Uh, Dave, you went over. You've been traveling like uh, to the U Ukraine. Oh yeah, just got back. From and you've there. been down to uh, Memphis many yep. times. Mm -hmm. Yep, Memphis. We're getting ready to go um, down south. We're going to be in North Carolina next week. What part? Uh, I'm going to be in Wilmington and then near Asheville. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So it's interesting the cuisine down there too. You used, well, you put, spent time in uh, traveling all over the U.S. as well, right? Oh you yeah. Learned how to cook. Yeah. You can taste it in your cooking. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's, it's turning a beautiful color. See? Yeah. yeah. Oh See how the God. flour is kind of absorbed a little bit of the uh, the butter and uh, olive oil? So put a little bit more in. Oh, my gosh. This is how it's done. I always wondered. You got one open. I have two sisters in Charlotte. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, I wish you were playing at Charlotte and send them out. Well, soon I will be, hopefully. Good. Hey, yeah, I never knew you had sisters down there. Yeah. You get a chance to I go down there? I got a family. I got a nephew and a, a niece. And yeah, a lot of my, uh, they, they relocated down there. You know, when the economy up here got kind of tough, they moved on. They like, they love it it's down there. It's beautiful down there. I love North Carolina. Love it. So what are you looking for when you're uh, looking at? I want to I wanna get a, a good sear. And so we, you know, cook it like maybe at least uh, like a third or half. Get a nice, get a nice sear on it. Mm. Oh my God, it was delicious. But see, the shrimp is cooking faster than this fish. Yep. So I put them up on top. Okay, now look. See how they pop now? Yep. Mm -hmm. So then put the mussels in. Yep. Then we're gonna get another skillet ready because we're, we're gonna put this over a bed of braised kale. That was another ingredient you said was your favorite. Oh yeah, braised kale. So healthy. Oh yeah. So this guy, this came from, directly from the farm to Daddy yeah. Jack's, huh? Yeah. Every Tuesday he calls me, tells me what he has available. What a what a beautiful arrangement, oh you know? Oh my God, that's fabulous. He brought oh. he brought his uh, family down last week. Five five children. He's young. A uh, young, young, uh, young man and beautiful wife and children. Five children, all homeschooled. Oh, it's great. And there's like you can tell, like they don't have any cell phones. They don't, you know, they're just engaged, engaged in conversation. They're I love just, that. Oh, a beautiful thing to watch. You know, um, it's so funny you bring up cell phones because living in New York City, everybody's like walking down the street like this. So you're right. In the subways, they're like totally like not paying attention to the world. Yeah. Cross, walking nice in the crosswalks and everything. Yep. So here's what we got. See this, Shane? Got a nice oh, beauty. Beautiful so, golden. So I have a uh, I have a broiler here. So I'm just gonna put it on the broiler, just kind of keep it warm and finish it. Wow. And then you have this right here. So I'm going to turn the fire down on that. Just a little more white wine because we want a little more liquid in there for uh, the sauce. What kind of white wine do you use? Just uh, Chablis. Chablis? Yeah. And then... Uh, the oranges. Put a little bit more. Oh my god, this is making me hungry, Jack. A couple seeds won't hurt, right? Oh my gosh, wish you could smell this, guys. And wow. Then, oh then my a little god. Bit of a little bit of tarragon. Love tarragon. I do too. Love it. It's such a unique okay. flavor. So there we have the kale. So I take the stems first, and we'll. Uh, I always want to learn how to cut like that. Just watch your fingers. Yeah. Oh yeah. It needs so, to be cut that, that fine? Yeah, because the, uh, the stalks are a little bit, uh, take a little bit longer to cook. 
Wow. Put that in the pan and the whole room just had to smell this aroma. Right. Beautiful. A little, What's bit, that? a little bit of garlic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Honey, you're going to have to eat this food with right. me. And then uh, my microphone is going to break at the end of my gig, though. Garlic. Yeah, that's OK, though. Okay, some friend, beautiful kale, baby kale. Beautiful. How far is the farm from here? Uh, 20 minutes. Oh, it's good. Wow, minutes. it really is local. Yeah, beautiful. All right, that's it right there. I'm going to shut this down. And then, uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to wilt it down. Wow. Put mm. <laughs> a bit of salt and pepper. Not too much. You have it pre-mixed over there, I guess. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I do. I mix my salt and uh, black pepper. Oh, it smells good. All right. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's a beautiful golden color. So what I'm gonna do, you see here, I just put a little bit more butter to thicken this sauce right here. That's how the French do it. They don't use flour to thicken their sauces. Just use a little bit of fresh butter. Love it. See how it brings it all together? Yep. Oh, it smells good. Beautiful. So you're just cooking it to just um, be kind of wilted, you said? Or? Yeah. We'll take a little taste. Can I try right, it? Nice, try it. There we go. Manny, make two round plates, please. Mm. Oh my god. That's flavor right off the farm. It explodes right in, when you bite into it. So we're gonna we're gonna put the sauce over the fish and we'll put the shrimp on top to garnish it. My gosh, it didn't take you that long to make this. No. Wow, perfection. A lot of smell, huh? All of it. Oh, it's an amazing fish. Okay. Wow. We'll take a uh... can smell the love. Oh yeah. I think you should call your, your show Cooking with Love because there's so much love in every bite. I always tell people when hey, I play you. Hey, know you know what? Hey, but Dave, <laughs> am I right or wrong? No, no matter what you do in life, you got to do it with love. You, and you do it with love. Right? You absolutely do it with love. That's one of the things that I love about you is it's just so much love in everything you do. Wow. Well, you can see the love. Look at that. Okay. See that flavor right there? Oh, man. I'm going to use it. See, Shane? That's that natural, that natural pan dripping. See how it all comes together with the yep. butter? Yep. All right, so here we are. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's halibut a la Dave Fields. <laughs> love uh, it. All right, let's go sit down. I love let's it. Let's dig in. All right, we're back. And so this is the inaugural Cooking with Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues show. It's 
we've had the idea to do this, you know, because, uh, you know, I don't know, I mean, you know, I had a little bit of music background playing the drums, as, but, I, you know, half-assed drummer and when I was a kid, but never got a chance to play in a band, you know. And I saw, I saw my drum set when I was 16, 15 and started working in a restaurant and uh, decided, you know, barely got out of high school and, you know, what was I going to do and decided to go to cooking school. So we were talking earlier, went to Johnson of Wales and you learn a little bit, but Dave, you know, you went to school, music for music and where, where'd you go to school? Berkeley College of Music. Berkeley? Yeah, in, Boston. In Boston? Yep. Wow, the best, one of the best. Yep. And Johnson of Wales is one of the best considered, you know, um, in this country, but... I always say there's nothing like school of hard knocks. You know, I agree. Get out there and you really cut your chops and learn. And uh, so uh, we're also, Judy was talking about how it all, all came together, you know, the dish. And uh, it's important to have all the ingredients in place. Uh, the, in Europe and for the French, they call it mise en place. Everything in its place before you get started with a recipe. Because you don't want to go midway through when your fish is cooked and you're hunting, hunting something else down. So, before you get started, make sure everything's in place. But you know, a you know, transition from the kitchen and to the ta you know, this is the this is the vision that uh, Shane and I we've thought you know we really want to have a like a, a little bit of an interview session, but also tasting the food and talk about things. So, but we've been waiting patiently, haven't we? Oh yes. my gosh! So let's give it a taste. Let's ready see. For the taste. You ready? Grab your forks. Oh my God! Shane, don't worry. We'll leave, leave you some. Oh my gosh, this is halibut cooked by the master. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you try a little bit on uh, kale. Oh my god. That's amazing. Wow. Mm. All oh natural god. flavor, right? This kale all is amazing. amazing. The nature's body. I haven't tried kale yet. The fish was just... Oh my god, Jack. You're a genius. <laughs> try the clams up. Poached off in the orange juice. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So much flavor. Yeah. I really like that tarragon. Wow. It adds a different. I love orange tarragon together. The orange tar tarragon yeah. is such a unique, beautiful flavor. You guys should smell this too. It's sweet and tart, yet it, it blends perfectly. Well, I haven't tried a shrimp yet. We, have, we haven't developed uh, smell a vision yet, but that's smell coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> they mm. need that. <laughs> All right, here goes a clam. Mm. Mm. Sweet. Where did you come up with that orange flavoring to, to saute in the orange? Well, years ago I did a, I did a luncheon down in Texas. Mm. Actually, I did wow. it in, in Deep Ellum, which was named Deep Bellum was Deep Bellum Blues, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right? Right where we had a Daddy Jack's down, the second Daddy Jack's that we opened was right down on uh, uh, Elm Street. I mean, historically, that's where, right down the road, Robert Johnson recorded in the whole warehouse. Oh my God. Uh, the address, uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, Lead Belly. Mm -hmm. They all played down there, and, and uh, years later, when we were down there, the blues came back, Blue Cat Blues, and uh, uh, oh, there was so many, so many, you know, blues was hot, was hot back in that area. It's funny how everything came full circle. And what part of Texas is that? In Dallas, yeah. And, uh, but I, had, I did a luncheon for a ladies group. And I remember I did a, uh, I did the clams in an orange tarragon sauce. That was the first time I did it with, uh, surrounded by some uh, mashed potatoes. That was the first time I'd done that combination together. But always with fish. You ever do it with chicken or something like that? Yeah, you can do it with chicken. Yeah. The, the, the flavors are just they explode when you eat them. This kale is exceptional. I've never had kale like this before. It's it's incredible. It was so simple how you made it. Yeah, just a little wilted. And it's organic. Yeah, Ayers Farms. Oh my yeah. god. That is hands down the best kale I've ever had. It's so healthy for you too. Seriously, mm -hmm. Jack, it's amazing. So you you grew up with music in your family. Yeah, my dad is a noted composer, arranger, forever, Sammy Forever Fields. I got to bring him here one day. Well, that, he just turned medium. 80. Wow. But, um. So, what, when, how old were you when you started playing uh, music? I was as young as I can remember. Really? I used to watch my dad because he was a virtuoso piano player. And, really? Uh, you know, it's funny, but um, my dad's from the South. 
Where? And I had, he's originally from Somerton, South Carolina, and no I was kidding. raised by a nanny who was from Waycross, Georgia. So I grew up eating Southern cooking. Did you? Like the real Southern fried chicken and pork, mm. fried pork, you know, every stuff I shouldn't have been eating, you know. <laughs> you know, the black-eyed peas and rice and everything and grits and, you know, God, things. Good, good soul food. Yeah. Yeah. But there's something about that, you know? I mean, usually in you know in New York City, that doesn't happen where a lot of people from the South come in. Got that influence? Raised family, yeah. So your, your dad was a virtuoso piano player? Mm-hmm. And what, you, so you started on the keyboard, keys? I'll talk about how I begged my dad to buy me a guitar, and he said, no, David, you're gonna learn how to play piano first. <laughs> and so he started playing this Jerry Lee Lewis thing, and I was hooked from playing piano from that point on, so. Oh, good. I've been starting to play piano on my show as well. And yeah, you played here four or five times before you uh, brought the keyboard. Yes. I couldn't believe you're, uh, <laughs> how great you are on the keys, just as you are on the guitar. And, well, th hey, you See? know, I got to throw the compliment back at you, man. <laughs> you play a mean cheese grater and whisk. I mean, seriously, you're great. I mean, you make it, it's perfect. Great, G-R-A-T. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's amazing how you can use uh, kitchen instruments to actually be musical instruments. And, and it actually contributes something because it's, it's got a, like, it's like a shaker. It's a cool sound. I made so many great connections with musicians. I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess it's because, you know, Cooking is an art, and, and music is an art form. And uh, it's also you. You're a, mus you're a musical person. You've got a yeah. musical soul. Well, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard <laughs> that you know all musicians are frustrated cooks. All cooks are frustrated musicians. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's, there's something to that. I don't know. I bet there is. <laughs> I bet there is. But hey, this is Daddy Jack's going with the blues here. This is great. Been great. Judy and Dave here, and Jasper, their son's been here. And I uh, just love the, when the family comes, the whole family comes to visit. And, and, and so glad you're here, Judy. Tonight, we're going to have a good time. Yeah. All right. All right. Love you. Awesome. Love you. You're the best, man.